2001, we had a player that played on our team, Sergio Villanueva. He wore our number 10. He played in the center midfield. He was uh, Argentinian, tremendous soccer player, but just a tremendous person. He spent eight years as a police officer, served as an undercover detective, took guns and narcotics off the street, transferred over to the fire department. And um, on the morning of September 11th, Sergio responded here with his company. They operated in the South Tower here, uh, rescuing thousands of people until the building came down. And uh, Sergio and his entire company were lost in the collapse. Uh, he was never found, uh, nor was anybody in his company. We were devastated after 9-11. But this game, which has been so good to us, helped us to come back. And uh, we were able to, out of this uh, horrific day, try and do a lot of good for other people. And we started the foundation in Sergio's name. Since that day, we've given uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars to uh, students that are soccer players in high school and college that are getting an education. Uh, we've run soccer clinics for kids all over the world. I'm sure if he was here today, he'd be in the stadium every, every week cheering you guys on. So I want to thank you for coming here today. We're one team, the fire and the police. We're one team. We play, we compete, but uh, we're all here serving the citizens of this city. And um, you know what? You're New York's team, and, and we're New York's team. And uh, having us all together here a couple of days before 9-11 really means a lot to us. I just want to thank you guys for showing up, uh, making this a special event for us. It, it shows us um, that people still remember. That's a long time ago, it's almost 18 years ago. And for us, you know, people die and they soon get forgotten. But things like, events like this keep us going. Well, it's a, very important for us to be here together as a team. We been down here individually with family and, and paid our respects in different ways uh, over the years, but it was for all of us collectively, staff, players to be here uh, is very important for us as a club. Uh, we represent New York City. Um, this gives all of us a little perspective and, and uh, you know, take a step back and realize, you know, who, who we get to represent while we just play a sport. Um, you know, there's, get to see, you know, FDNY and NYPD and how this event touched their lives and you know we, we just want to honor them uh, as a club and, and represent everything that New York is. I'm a survivor of 9-11. I was under the South Tower when I came down and I was one of the very few who got out. The numbers are nearly 3,000 innocent human beings were murdered on September 11, 2001 at this spot. And I said innocent human beings because a lot of times people will say Americans, but it, that wouldn't be accurate because they were mostly Americans, but there were people from 90 countries. So when you think about this, it's like I think about this every day. It was an attack on humanity. Nearly f about 421 first responders all did the same thing. The New York City firefighters, New York City police officers, the Port Authority police officers, and EMTs and paramedics. They all did the same thing, like this. They stepped forward, they put their hand up, they said, I will. I saw my friend Chris Blackwell, I saw my friend Terry Hatton, I saw my friend Patty Brown. I saw a group of six emergency service cops who I talked with in the South Tower before they were the first ones to go up the stairs in the South Tower after the second plane. They all knew it. Terry, my best friend Terry said, he squeezed me to his chest and he kissed me right here on the cheek. And he said, I love you, brother. I may never see you again. He knew it. He still went in the stairwell and went up with his men. And none of them came back. Sergio was one of, one of those people and what a beautiful, wonderful human being he was. Argentinian American and his birthday was July 4th and he figured every year they're setting off all those fireworks for him because <laughs> he was so proud to be an American so that that's our guy take Sergio on the field with you uh, next Wednesday keep him in your heart he ran like the wind that guy so run like the wind with him
and, and, and uh, win that game on the 11th. The first thing that just comes to mind is you have to be to be grateful for for what you have. Um, it's yeah, for me it's just sad to hear to hear those stories, but also very encouraging how they how they've moved on with their life and how they're trying to help other people, even though maybe they suffer the most. And uh, yeah, it's not not so easy to talk about. We always have the guard of honor honor for them, but especially after after this visit for. For players like me from overseas who only kind of catch it on TV or players who were too young to understand, I think it's good to touch ground on, on this hurtful topic. When they come out next on uh, September 11th to watch our game, it'll give us extra motivation. <laughs>